This bites bracket selection show edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by MyBookie.ag. MyBookie is your home for the NBA, college basketball, and the XFL. Use the promo code SGP and get up to one thousand dollars in free bets. That's MyBookie.ag promo code SGP to play when you get paid at MyBookie. We're also brought to you by Hawthorne. If you smell good, you bet good. Get 10% off personalized cologne, shampoo, deodorant, and more. Just go to Hawthorne.co and use promo code SGP. That's Hawthorne with an E.co, promo code SGP. We're also brought to you by Simply Safe, the leader in home security. Go to simplysafe.com slash SGP today to get free shipping on your order plus a 60 day money back guarantee. That's simplysafe.com slash SGP to save on home security today. S I M P L I safe dot com slash S G P. We're also brought to you by Vincero Watches. Vincero creates exceptionally crafted watches and they do it without breaking the bank. Head over to VinceroWatches.com, promo code SGP to receive 15% off and free shipping on your watch. That's VinceroWatches.com, promo code SGP. We're also brought to you by Ace Per Head. Ace is the leader in pay per head providers and they make it super easy to start your own sports book. Plus, Ace is offering up to six weeks free over at aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's aceperhead.com slash SGP. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan real money Kramer. What's happening? Kramer dog. Sean, I took your note from last episode and I did not look creepily. (laughs) At the audience, I think it's just weird when I'm talking. You're just staring dead at the camera. In fact, today I don't think I'll make a single bit of eye contact with our audience because this side of the neck, Sean, yeah, it's in bad shape. Really, what we, happened? We've had some MGs to try to combat <laughs> the stiffness. I I, I want to turn to look at the audience, but the whole body to sell has them to on shift. your point. Uh, yeah, it's important to make eye contact and do this with your hand. So. <laughs> Ryan's running for office. I don't know what happened. I do know that it put a damper on the day that is selection Monday, Sunday. It's selection Sunday, but it's on a Monday night. We're That's like we're right. like the NFL selection Sunday, Monday night edition. Yeah, Thursday night football, <laughs> Saturday edition. You're here in the college basketball theme because it is SGPN bites. Bracket selection show. Of course, this selection show brought to you by our good pals over at mybookie.ag. Play, win, and get paid over at mybookie. Deposit withdrawal using that sweet, sweet cryptocurrency. Use that promo code SGP to get up to $1,000 in free bets. Hey, you want, we got you free bets, also free picks every day. Colby Dan and crew, NC Nick, Patty C, cranking out the free college picks. Or at sportsgamblingpodcast.com, Twitter at gambling podcast. Again, mybookie.ag. Play when you get paid. Use some promo code SGV. We're here. We're in studio. What is the Bites Bracket Selection Show? Well, it's the announcement show. The announcement show that precludes all other announcements. It's big. It's important. We are going to list the 32 sound drops. That made it into the contest. And of course, since we are hashtag dead gens only, we will be putting <laughs> up a sweet little prize. That no. Prize, that prize is, of course, $500. Wait, Sean, last we had talked, the yes. prize was entertainment. Yeah. Ha- has, have things changed? Well, last night. And yes, I was doing our taxes, went to a tax appointment <laughs> on Sunday night. Shout, shout out to Burbank Tax. Guy does his I'm sitting there, I'm watching the NBA All-Star game. Okay. Wow. Again, again cashed a uh, nice cold brew in your hand or something. No, not I quite. <laughs> did not have cold brew. But again, was on top of, I was turned in all our paperwork. He's like, What is this? Why are you giving the all this audience? Or all this money to the audience as your financial advisor. I can't in good conscience allow you to give all this money to the listeners. And I go, sorry, buddy. I love the <laughs> listeners. I don't care what you say. I'm gonna take your dirty accountant money. No, actually the guy is a cool dude. So shout out to Burbank Tax. Totally not dirty. No. He's a very uh, meticulous, great accountant. So if you're in the LA area, 
<laughs> Drop me a line. I'll hook you up with Burbank tax. A uh, free promo for the Burbank. Wow. Not only are we giving the audience cash, we're giving Burbank tax <laughs> free promo. <laughs> He said he said he was going to check out the podcast. So we'll see $200,000 draft King lineups and tax accountants. What don't you do? Sean stacking the money green. What don't I do? I'll tell you what I do and what I don't do (laughs) mess around when it comes to brackets. So we've selected 32 drops. We have a, a East region and a West region seated one through 16. Um, and yeah, I think uh, we got to we got to just jump in and, and get them out. Couple a uh, couple ones did not make the list. Uh, this one, which I'm pretty sure didn't make it in. Clap on, oh. clap off the clapper. Again, that's kind of a new drop. We'll see. I, I have a feeling the second annual bites bracket that could be a uh, a, a sound effect we'll be hearing from. <laughs> Price is right losing horn very apt for the Price is right losing horn did not make it was it was on the bubble watch again it had the pedigree we just wanted to see a couple bigger non conference wins for the Price is right losing horn and again that drop in particular not the most original drop you, in a repertoire you know what that drop is that drop is Seth Greenberg and my Virginia Tech Hokies for like three straight years Bri- bridesmaids unfortunately yeah. never the bride. Maybe it'll make a, you know, maybe it'll make a run over the, in the NIT. And the clapper not getting the bid is just perfect clapper. It's just yes, him classic clapping clapper. on the side. This was one that I I thought would make it. We were doing the uh, the final selections. Uh, I mean, let's go to the school. They only go to the school when they get in. Yeah. But I want to see more of them going to the school. Them not getting in. Let's go to the school and see. Fire up the lawnmower. Oh, put it in the shed. It did not get in. That's going to be controversial. That is a mid major with a great resume who yes. just got bumped. This is the sound by for the Col- classic lock sound effect. C- Colby is making a uh, case for this team come March, saying it's a. Uh, this is the team that like should be a. This is the UCF of sound drops. It's it's a team that. Probably should be in there, but again, didn't didn't quite have the pedigree mixed with. Yeah, it's a, it's a fine art deciding what actually gets in, what actually uh, doesn't get in. The art of committeeing is tough, Sean. It was. And we, we had that job. I feel like we were pretty much on the same page as far as whether this drop was either a top seed, a bottom seed, or a mid seed. But within that range, there was there was some discussion behind. Behind the uh, curtain, we were we were going back and forth, each kind of making a case for our particular drops uh, that that we personally liked. Or again, we listened to the audience. There's a, much like the All Star Game, there is an audience vote. Oh, and a shout out, <laughs> shout out to me for uh, giving out on the NBA All Star Pod. Tow, Bam, tow, out tow. of bio plus twelve hundred. So between that and our XFL picks, which will XFL Week Three coming up. Uh, later in the week, I, I think we had a pretty good weekend for the listeners. Do we have a moment to tout? Yeah, let it rip, Ryan. Because at one point this this weekend, I was six and zero. Oh. Yes. And you know what I did on Saturday just for fun? <laughs> because uh, not everywhere it was allowing the parlay. Mm. I was able to find some. I, I went. I had a four teamer in the XFL, Sean. Oh my God, Come that's on. the dream with the money line. Yeah, that really is the dream. With the it's like it's like I'm betting funny money on this silly league. <laughs> it it's doesn't like, it doesn't feel like real money somehow. The XFL, and maybe it's just because I've had good luck so far, two and zero oh in the locks. What does luck have to do with it? The unders, the logic makes two. so much sense. And tweeted out a a sweet sweet uh, meme of uh, if you've seen the Steph Curry with his wife. Oh man, did not have a. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of those guys who will get penetration. Do yourself a favor if you haven't seen the uh, <laughs> Steph Curry and his wife. They're like, he's not wearing a shirt. He's like wearing jean shorts. She's on top of him. They put out this photo, and there, he's clearly, uh, he's clearly aroused in the photo. And so people have been memeing, uh, you know, Steph Curry, 
uh, his wife and then his boner. So I did one for the podcast. Me is of course Steph Curry. <laughs> XFL is his wife embracing, and then the boner uh, text is six and two on the unders. And we'll talk. So I'm really proud of myself for that one. So check us out over on uh, Sports Sean, Gaming Podcast well done. Instagram. Well done. I, again, this is a good tout portion. Got it tout. It's yeah. healthy. We got to stretch. We got to warm up. And again, reminder: all this is fucking free. So you're welcome, everyone. This is also the portion of the portion of the show where they had Crowbar and Charles Barkley talking about college basketball. <laughs> That's terrible. You know what's not terrible, Ryan? Oh, you're worried about people crowbarring into your house, mm. into your into the SGPN studio. Not so fast. Why? Because we're protected by Simply Safe. That's right. Fortune 500 companies, you know the kind of security they use? It's the same kind of security you're going to get in your Simply Safe home package. It's very easy to set up. Again, Kramer, he's no uh, Tim Allen. Had no problem setting it up. You don't have to drill holes, run wires. Feels like uh, an insult. No, I mean, listen, I'm no uh I'm no wood guy over here. I'm no <laughs> I'm no carpenter. Speaking of stuff, Kurt. But but some of the old school systems, you really had to run wires, plug everything in, drill holes, set it's very simple with Simply Safe. Get uh, comprehensive protection for your home. And again, the big thing is Simply Safe uses real video evidence to give police an eyewitness account of the crime, because false alarms happen all the time. Simply safe. They see the video. They describe the culprit inside the house, and then police dispatch up to 350 percent faster than a normal burglar alarm. That's simply safe. Uh, yeah, I mean that's kind of their secret to the success. Entry motion, glass break sensors guard the inside. All monitored 24/7 by live security professionals. All you gotta do is go to simplysafe.com/sgp today to get free shipping on your order. Plus a 60 day money back guarantee. You're not going to need it, but it's there just in case much like simply safe itself. That's simply safe.com slash S G P S I M P L I safe.com slash S G P to save on home security today. Frame dog. Let's do it. Do, do we have dramatic music? Yeah, we were just playing it. That was the that was the dramatic contest music. Well, not for the ad read, but previously. Okay. We're gonna start in the East region. AKA. AKA the Jason Garrett re- region. Which it almost should be the Jason Garrett Memorial region, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, but he's still in the league, right? And he's still in the Giants. <laughs> We are not getting well, rid. He's not going to be funny anymore because he's going to be what so are you good. Talk- <laughs> he's going to be so good. Oh, man, I really walked into that one. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Kicking off the 16 uh, seed in the Jason Garrett region, we have kind of a slow start. The Masters theme music again. You know it from uh, Eli Manning's eulogy. Anytime we have a serious moment on the show, or actually. Uh, Fake serious moments. The Masters theme song comes on. It's a lot of fun. 16 seed. Don't expect to see it moving on against a one seed, but it's there. It's there. Feels part of this program. Classes up the joint. Definitely a participation trophy, right? Yeah, and it, it was right on the edge there. Some of the there a couple of music cues slipped in. Some more fun than others, but uh, Masters again, utilitarian feels like we've used it a lot over the years. So, coming in at 16, the Masters music. This one, surprising 15 seed, it's got some upset mojo. <laughs> the Kobe Dant Danta Bay sound effect, a 15 seed. What do you expect Colby's reaction is to be? I think he'll be honored he'll at being it. a 15 seed. He's like, it. yeah, that's what I want. I'm Lehigh going up against Duke in 2012. I mean, his, his life is advocating for the 15 seed. So yes. it's only fitting that the dancer base is a 15 seed. It not all, although it does play in every show, a couple too many white guys on this team to move on from my liking, <laughs> Sean. Uh, do, do we, so are we going to just go reverse order? Or are we going to throw out who they're playing? Well, no, I think we, uh, I, I think forget. We, how do we do this? We count it down to okay. one and then we can, we'll do a quick uh, match. I like recap, it. I but like it. This is dramatic. You don't, you don't reveal the one seed till the end. You're right. You're right. This one, it is a music cue, but it's a classic. 
Oh, yeah. it just never gets old. It is the sound drop that helped derail the New York Football <laughs> Giants. Give it up for the Girls Gone Wild theme, aka the boat trip music. Yep. A lot of fun, very festive. Very festive. Second team from a small conference. They've cut the video now at this point, and people are going absolutely ape shit. They are celebrating like they don't give a shit about winning a game in the tourney, but it had to be there. This is this had is, to be there. This is uh, feels like Vermont. It, it had you the talk resume. yourself into oh, they got guards, they can they can hit their free throws. They've been playing with each other for four years. That's that's how you're selling yourself on the uh the number 14 boat trip this, music. This is a like two loss Princeton team. Yeah. Right? Somewhere in the New Hampshire, New England area. <laughs> Lock it up number 13. Uh, you could make a case that they, they maybe didn't deserve to be in pedigree pedigree pedigree. Yeah. It's you hear it all the time associated with many many wins over the years. Our our patented uh lock sound effect Little uh, trivia for the fans at home that actually comes from uh, Akon's uh, song "Locked Up." <laughs> I sampled that, so enjoy, enjoy that little uh, piece of trivia. Is that from back in the Naeus days? No, that is. Uh, <laughs> no, it's just uh, that's where I pulled it, Ryan. I want me some glory hope. I'll play it one more time, a little louder. I want me some glory hope. That, of course, is uh, Jerry Jones saying that he wants some glory hole again. Clearly. He has no idea what the word glory hole means, uh, but yeah, I think he, <laughs> he was advocating to uh, have some glory coming in at 12 seed. Ryan, do you see glory hole moving on? I, I think while it's not a scream, like hit you in the face, public 12 favored by two over a five seed, it is, it is the owner of the Cowboys saying glory hole. And at the end of the day, mm. glory holes are funny. Yeah, the idea is uh, funny. Making fun of the Cowboys, funny. And these are universal concepts, with the exception of Cowboys fans out there. With at this point, I assume there aren't too many, <laughs> or they just enjoy the beating. No, but I, I think the Cowboys fans <laughs> they just that, that <laughs> stick around to the podcast. They're they're true DJs, and the fact that they accept their. Uh, there's a mutual respect, right? Because they realize, Hey, if I was an Eagles fan or if a giants fan, I would talk a ton of shit on the Cowboys if I had my own podcast. So I think they begrudgingly respect our position yeah. of being anti Cowboys. You, I mean, yeah, some Pollyannas will say, Oh, every team's great. I love every team. We have hard, strong opinions. One of which is the Dallas Cowboys suck. And Hey, if God forbid the Cowboys ever do go on a run, and win a few playoff games. I'm sure we'll be hearing it from these fans. It would be a great bit for the sports gambling podcast. That's for sure. It would be uh, highly <laughs> unlikely, but it, sure, anything's possible. Could be almost as good as the soy boy bit. <laughs> Showtime, my homes. Oh, coming in at 11 seed from Bill Burr himself. It's a uh, it's, it's drop been around for a couple of years, but I think really started breaking it in uh, this latest uh, playoffs, the NFL playoffs. Bill Burr, uh, Patrick Mahomes kind of went on a nice run here. So I felt like this was a great time to really get a lot out of uh, Showtime Mahomes. How do you feel about this as a drop, Ryan? Well, I, you know, I was talking to someone who, uh, who is a friend and also a fan, Sean. So, you know, hard to, hard to know where the boundary is. Uh, <laughs> hopefully we didn't get too inappropriate here, but the, I, I would say the fact that we created this drop. Yes adds a bit of value. I, I think perhaps why it's all the way up at the 11 seed. This is totally homegrown drops. I think do get a, a nod from the committee. They look at the program. Hey, these are guys building up, uh, doing things the right way. This, this is, is Jim Beheim and Syracuse <laughs> getting in for that play in 11 seed in a year. They had no business getting there and then making a run to the elite getting hot. So look right out time. for showtime Mahomes. We got to get our shit going mentally. Coming in at number ten again. Anytime we get to talk about John Gruden on the podcast, it's a lot of fun. This was a this was a newer drop. I mean, especially when you look at the heritage, the pedigree of some of these other programs. This to me feels like a uh, yeah, like a Gulf Coast University, a, a team that Whoa. like you didn't really expect to see in there. But then when you see them at the ten seed, you look at their path 
to a title, you could you could see yourself making a run. And again, you guys are going to be the ones deciding which of these drops to move on. We're going to be voting. Uh, each one of these games is going to be uh, presented as a poll question over at Gambling Podcast. There'll be like a 24 hour period for you to get your votes in. But of course, stuff in the ballot box is encouraged. And if you get a couple people to rally around a, a particular drop, you can really tip the scales in your favor. I think if you got like four or five of your friends to retweet, get a couple other people <laughs> to vote. Uh, just four, four or five. I'm just saying, it, it seems like judging from, uh, I, I feel like it would be easy to move, especially some of these smaller matchups. Now, when we get to the sweet 16, the elite eight, the final four, it may be harder because there's going to be a lot of eyes on, but this first round of 32, uh, there could be some, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a lot of upsets Ryan. And uh, this would be a good time to remind people that if they're really itching for this, the next iteration of this bites bracket conversation, mm. they should head over to youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast, subscribe to the, to our YouTube page. So they get notified Sean. Oh yeah. Cause we are live. If you're watching the show live right now, do not go to sports gambling podcast.com <laughs> slash bracket to enter your bracket because that is not quite live yet. Uh, but of course, if you're listening to this on a podcast, it's up, it's ready to go. It's completely tested. There's no way anything can go wrong with the technical uh, uh, setup we have going on there. So sports gambling podcast.com <laughs> slash bracket to get your entry in back to it. Where are we at here? We just revealed the number 10 seed of the East region, the Jason Garrett region coming in at number nine, little controversy behind the scenes. You said I had this seated too high, but personal favorite of mine <laughs> uh, again takes me back to my days of listening to Counting Crows. Helps carry <laughs> on the tradition of making fun of the New York Giants quarterback. This drop has a lot going for it, Kramer. Why do you think I'm over uh, overvaluing? Well, the, I mean, the Mr. Jones drop one way or another, you are overvaluing this in your words. This drop will be no longer usable in a year or two. And hey, quite it's frankly, just, it's a one and done, but I'm fine with that. It's much an 18. like, much like Kentucky. They brought out, they gave out a lot of uh, money to the right boosters and uh, Mr. Jones getting a nine seat is it's just great for the program. Well, that's what I was going to comp it to. This is Kentucky in a down year getting a nine seed. Mm. See, I was going to say Kentucky in a great year. Oh, well, because Mr. Jones dropped. They're going to get hot when it matters. Uh, when they're going to be start really gelling. I think this. I wouldn't be surprised if Mr. Jones is a Final Four drop run. See, to me, this is uh, fading, Mr. Jones is maybe the lock of the first round. Wow. And I think it will help the conversation if we just reveal that first round matchup and and, and who Mr. Jones will be facing. So Mr. Jones is the 9 and that means it's going head to head with the 8 seed and that is again probably came in similar time period or actually number 8 seed probably a little newer. I can delete this right here for you. <laughs> This is a, at number eight. It's a good drop, but I think Mr. Jones, even though it's a nine seed, I think it's going to move on. I like, I, I can delete that uh, right now for you, but Ryan, we know we have a big contingency of New York Patriots fans who don't want to be triggered and reminded that their team is involved in rampant, rampant cheating. They're going to go all in on Mr. Jones. The, the baby whale trackers will move Mr. Jones along. Once it gets into the sweet 16, it's all downhill from there. I can delete that right now for you. Great drop, but I'm worried the chatterheads are going to fight it. I, I did enjoy how you called uh, the New York Patriots. That that's it. That's good. Did I say that you did say that that was pretty fun. Uh, New England but, Patriots, but course. I'm a little surprised because this, I can delete that for you right now. This will be a drop we're playing in five years. Yeah, and God willing, we're both still alive. And also, well, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Ryan, you really jinxed it. Uh, also, it's uh, besides that. I mean, I think the idea of the Patriots being cheaters—that's going to be something that's not going anywhere. It's not an idea. The but fact also, of the Patriots being cheaters. Yeah, but also versatile, right? Because 
someone says something, uh, someone says the wrong thing. One of our, uh, you know, freelancers, one of the SGP crew sends out the wrong tweet. I can delete that right there for you. Uh, th- it, there's so many situations where this drop could be used. So again, that versatility, I just, th- the chatter heads are not going to let the, Whoa. I can delete that for you. Move on. There's just no way. And that's where the home court is going to be killer because th- this, this is clearly being played somewhere deep in new England. Yeah. Yo, this, uh, yeah, th- this entire region, any of these <laughs> now again, we'll get to it because all right. Yeah. I don't want to reveal, but obviously baby whale is in the tournament. Now will, <laughs> will Boston embrace the baby whale or do they yeah. see it as making fun of it? I, we use it making fun, but also just discussing it. So I think it's a, a point of pride. Uh, but we'll see. Look, I can both use chowder derogatory mm. in a derogatory nature, but I can also enjoy chowder. So listen, step back, enjoy, <laughs> and uh, vote objectively, guys. We already have uh, one of the uh, live viewers, Ryan, over at youtubecom slash gambling podcast. Johnny Max saying farewell. Mr. Jones chowder heads everywhere. Well then if he's saying farewell, Mr. Jones, that means he's loaded up on, I can delete that right there. Or I can delete that for you right now. And maybe that's, uh, that's what people rally around because there are for as many Patriots fans and listeners and Boston sports fans that we have. We also have people who really love shitting on them. So this is, this is a hotly contested eight, so- nine <laughs> matchup. And that's what the committee wants. That's what we're trying to do. Create great match surprisingly not uh not a lot of moderates in the chowderheads versus everyone else <laughs> battle very very um yeah uh, very bipolar one way or the other there all right coming in at number 7 in the east region aka the Jason Garrett Memorial region you like that you like that Kirk Cousins at his finest captain Kirk a uh, guy that's just great to fade in prime time in and in big games somehow beat the Saints but overall I made a nice chunk of change betting against uh, Kirk Cousins this NFL season, particularly that Monday night game. That was money, uh, and it's just it's just funny to hear Kirk Cousins get fired up. And again, very versatile drop. You can use it anywhere uh, of someone like talking shit. And uh, I don't know how say you, Ryan. You like that? Well, it feels like it feels like it's a top half drop. A seven seed feels about right. I think some, uh, and I guess we will get to this, but some will be surprised to hear that Kirk Cousins' voice crack is a snub. Yes, they are on the outside in. looking in. So I think this is a fair seed for a Kirk Cousins led drop. I think this is a However, very personal one. Sean, would you believe this? I've spoken to a couple people who I know for a fact definitely listen to the show. They don't just tell that to us to our face, yes, because they're nice. And they thought that drop. They're obviously not huge football fans. They thought that was you. <laughs> they thought that was you bragging about your DraftKings win. Huh? That is something I would say. And again, uh, we <laughs> probably could, if you Google DraftKings winners, of course, my uh, blog about it. One of the t- the top entry. I'm blogging about SEO uh, and DraftKings. What are win. you more excited about? The SEO <laughs> value of the blog post or the fact that you won 200 K there. My reaction video is in there and I'm like 200. Oh my God. I do think I, I think I do say, I may have said uh, you like that. We'll have, to, we'll have to check the tape. Now that it's uh the seven seed, you like that though. Tough matchup against mm. the 10 seed, John Gruden. We got to get our shit going mentally. Again, I see upset here. I'm leaning ten seed. I'll have to think about it, but uh, seven seeds is Kirk. Here. Kirk is uh, in trouble. We'll leave it at that. This one got a lot of uh, requests. I'm going all in on Trump, and that is of course Justin Decker. You're saying what? Justin Decker? He's not a he's not a Trump guy. No, this is years ago. Uh, I think it was. I think it was probably the he Patriots. He took the over on the Trump, Trump tweet. tweets during the Falcons Patriots, Patriots Super Bowl Super Bowl day at five and a half. Yes, he was going all in on Trump, and Trump actually, as luck would have it, Trump got to him one more time by uh, hitting the under on his tweets. <laughs> same the same Super Bowl where I lost a tremendous, and everyone did on, on the Puppy Bowl. So a lot <laughs> of bad beats there, but of course, uh, Pat's did end up pulling it out. 
And that's the side so I was on. Eleven so- thirty in the morning on Super Bowl Sunday, Sean screaming like a <laughs> rabid dog in my garage. Well, there were rabid dogs destroying the game. All in on Trump, number six going up against Showtime Mahomes. I don't think the dog has a chance here. I think, regardless of uh, your personal feelings on Trump, the the love of the drop is universal because I think people that are enjoy making fun of Trump or Trump supporters, I think like the drop. So I, I think number six cruises to a victory. Well, uh, Justin Decker polls very high with our audience. <laughs> Sean, I, I think this is the first lower seed that is favored. Yes. And yeah, because I think 10, seven, uh, 10 is definitely favored eight, nine, you eight told nine's me, a pick them. No, I think you nailed it. The environmental factor the Patriots fans want to erase this from history. So they definitely want it erased from the SGPN bites bracket. So I think this is the first favorite of the lower seeds. Typically I, I, I spoke highly of Showtime Mahomes. I thought they had, I, I, this is a team I had in my bet on bucket. Mm. And then what do I find them? When they're, you see the matchup, they're you go, go there, they're, they're yeah. done. There's I, nothing there. I, I don't expect. I mean, I think we could have multiple deckers in the elite eight. And again, I, I, if there's, if people want to set uh, ads, side spreads, betting lines, side bets, we encourage all of that uh, hashtag DGens only action. And maybe we'll, I'll even tweet out what I think the spread will be as far as percentage splits on the vote. But again, we're, we're just trying to get through the bracket because it's going to, we can't get it too complicated. Coming in at number five, hot, 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 hot. Uh, it's a great. I mean, all time. Uh, you know, hot, 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 hot. It's, it's not that Stan, old. What or it's uh, Stan's dad, right? Randy yep. Marsh, and all time great all-time character South, on South Park. Great for those hot takes. I, I think maybe seated a little high for five. I think you like the drop, Ryan, or an advocate more than I am. I enjoy the drop, but I think you had this one a little higher than I did. And I think my reason as to why this is a five seed is because this is absolutely a powerhouse. This is a team that most likely didn't win their conference tournament, but had a great regular season. I'm thinking your, your, your stereotypical uh, Baylor teams of past Florida, (laughs) just a solid blue blood that didn't have the best end of the year. Maybe they had a, a period where they had an injury. They had a key a key guy go down, but that guy is back. And while we typically talk about the five 12 matchup as a spot where, where you're gonna, it's become too chalky. And I, I, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't think that I want me some glory hole. Yeah. Th- which is the 12 C that it would be going up against. I think it's going to be a short number. I think hot, 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 maybe only laying a three or four point number. Mm. But I, I, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm going hot, hot, hot. But I think it has, I think it may have trouble doing damage after that. Well, I, I certainly think if you want to talk about long shots overall in the tourney, drop that can go win a championship. I don't, I don't think this can do it. No, I don't it think is, it can do it. If you put it in your final four, I, I think you're just misguided. Yeah, he's one of those guys who will get penetration. Uh, this is a four seed, but to me, Madden, Madden uh, making sexual innuendos. This is what the show's built on, and it, we had to make it a four seed because of because of just how strong of a year it was drop wise. But if you put Madden, uh, will get uh, he will he's a guy that will get penetration in your finals in your final four. I don't think you're making a wrong call there. I think I think it's a bold choice, but I think it's a decent choice. I mean, we gave the committee gave them a layup first round against the classic lock sound effect. I mean, we could see a uh, 80, 20 split here. As far as the votes, I, I, I smell blowout potential. Uh, I I'm not sure who's going to be pulling for the classic. The format really makes this a nice matchup, even though the four seed hard to see classic lock winning and as I look at these brackets, Sean, I, I think one of the f- bits of feedback that the fans are going to have for the committee, which by the way, they should definitely head over to at gambling podcast on Twitter and Sean get involved in the conversation. 
<laughs> because I, I am interested here, but I, I think the East region is going to turn out to be a bit on the strong side. Mm. And I think we're going to hear a little bit about how the committee, maybe they, they cherry pick some of the better teams. Maybe this is the regional the that's going to be West played in Los some Angeles. Strong ones, right? Anyway, I'll- Madden penetration. I think it's a perfect four seed. Mm. It, it's never going to be a one seed. But man, you it, do not want to face this in the second round. You I, just don't. Yeah, it's it's going to be a tough match. If you, so it it would be the five seed, right? Uh, to me, that's an eight point favorite. It, it's not even close. Coming in at number three. Oh, oh no! Gus Johnson, aka the Gus Gasm, the three seed makes total sense uh, for this drop. It's going head to head with the boat trip music. I think there'll be some boat trip supporters. It's fun making fun of Odell, but I think the love of Gus Johnson, the fact that this is a March Madness bracket, it's a March Madness drop sound effect. It's it's gonna cruise the first round. Although I, if I was a betting man and I am, I would actually bet the margin of victory in the four thirteen uh, between Madden Penetration and Classic Lock. I think we actually see a bigger blowout between uh, Madden Penetration and Classic Lock than Boat Trip Music and Gus Gasm. I think it'll be Ooh. closer than people think. I would, I would say this is like a seven and a half point favorite where they win. You know, there's some free throw stuff at the end, but it's clear they're not going to cover at any point. Uh, see, to me, this is the like eight to ten point favorite that people have gotten a little bit too high on the fourteen seed. Mm. Gus get, I getting mean, cute, just, talking th- themselves into an upset. Just straight up, this is this team looks better coming off the bus. Like their boat trip music doesn't have a guy over six eight. <laughs> and meanwhile, the front line for Gus Gasm is just rolling out six. Boat trip taller. music has a lot of white guys. Uh, <laughs> Why well, girls got wild, baby? I I just to me Gus get. You want to talk about a team that I am comfortable p- penciling in as. A finalist, I, I think it's Gus. I just it, it, whether it's the seasonality of the drop, the fact that it's used in so many different contexts, and it's been around forever. It's and used in, it's used for sex, for winning, for going crazy. Last and I like, can tell you, Sean Ryan, real money Kramer, still today can visualize where I was <laughs> at the Palazzo in that circle bar that I don't think exists anymore. Watching Xavier play Kansas State. God, why is Gus Johnson not calling college basketball games for March Madness anymore? I mean, kudos to Fox for getting them, but come on. Love him as a crime against humanity. Three six, I should point out, Sean. We have a potential all in on Trump versus Gus Gasm here. So that is going to be a nice sweet 16 matchup. Coming in at number two. It's a baby fucking wheel, man. Uh, You could. I think there's going to be a lot of entries that have baby F and whale winning it all. Yeah. And it, it's tough to argue against that logic. It's gonna coming out of the East. I think it's going to have its work cut out for it. But if you haven't seen that video, uh, the video, it, it reminds me of the video, which is an all time viral video. Of course, these Boston guys see th- some sort of sunfish, but they think it's a baby whale. His friend Jay, they keep <laughs> saying they got to take it to <laughs> the aquarium. It's sick. And oh, dude, it's missing its mother. It's it's really a gem of a video. It reminds me of that. It's a a, a, a the perfect crystallization of the Boston accent. So you get the funny accent. It's funny that the guys think it's a baby whale. It reminds you of that viral video. It's used every time we talk about uh, Boston sports teams. Again, this is the definition of a blue blood: the baby effing whale and a sweet logo. That you can get on a, a shirt over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash merch. Having merch is huge. That's a big part here. It it's a it comes from a absolutely just objectively funny video. And completely unique to uh the podcast. You don't hear any other shows using a drop like that. We're kind of on an island here, uh, fishing for baby whales. We are fishing for baby whales. This is, and of course, it goes up against the Dante base, which I, I think people there are Colby supporters. They will rally around Colby, but the Dante base sound effect has its hands, uh, has its work I, cut out for. It. I think the Dante base himself may that vote is, for the baby effing whale in this. Well, matchup. that'll be interesting because if Colby really 
uh, wants to try and rally the Ooh. Dantamaniacs and really rally <laughs> the listeners uh, to the college experience and really put his weight behind the Danta base. That could put Baby F and Whale in a in a pickle, but I think ultimately Baby F and Whale carries the day. Uh, it, I would be very surprised to not see chalk in the elite elite eight here. Baby F and Whale, Gus Gasm. That's the matchup everyone wants to see. That is that's gonna be great. Uh, <laughs> it's Kentucky, North Carolina. I'm really getting into this bit. I know it started out as a bit, but I'm really <laughs> looking forward to it as if it's a sporting event. <laughs> I I will be surprised. I I'm looking forward to which one of the obvious blue bloods gets upset. There's going to be one of some sort of social media campaign disruption campaign. I think you call the Danta base upsetting baby F and well, that could be in play. It, it could be in play. And the number one drop in the East region, AKA the Jason Garrett Memorial region. <laughs> I'll go home and get your fucking shine box. Perfect. Again, they were the it's the sound drop built for Jason Garrett. Um, it's a, it's an all time movie. It's an all time sound effect. I don't shine shoes no more. It's, it's great. I mean, it's, it reminds you of, you know, I don't know, just classic mob movies. Do you remember what made us start using it? That's a great question. I do not. I, I don't either. I mean, obviously we're insanely creative. <laughs> I don't think anyone else is using this out there in mainstream. Well, especially not media. in this context of, I, I think we were just realized. I think what happened is that we, we realized the power dynamic between Jerry <laughs> Jones and, uh, but Jason how do Garrett. we make that connection? Because it's well, a perfect drop. It is just because Jason Garrett is such Jerry Jones's bitch. We're like, <laughs> he's like one of those guys that shines shoes and he's like, go home and get your fucking shine box. Now, Jason Garrett doesn't reply with, I don't shine shoes no more. He just goes home and gets the shine box. It's a little ironic there. He's got a, I mean, shine box has an easy layup of a matchup. Uh, number one against the masters music. So that's, uh, that's not even worth handicapping. Don't get cute here. Don't even take the points. Uh, just, I mean, that's, it's going to be like an 80, 20, right? Or 90, uh, 95 to five. It's going to be a bloodbath. And again, that uh, that's why I know we're doing our job right because I feel like these are playing out at least in my head similar results. I'm sure there's going to be some wild cards in here where we're completely off with what the listeners think, but I, as a committee member, this should be how I feel, but if the top 4 seeds aren't there come Elite 8, I, I'd be surprised, very surprised. So I think we did our job very well, Sean. Thank you very much. And I'm very Thank excited you for participating in the <laughs> sports gambling podcast. Uh, now look, it, it, c- c- Madden penetration versus shine box. That's a better matchup than, than I, I think I initially thought, but man, all four of these teams, I do think the top four here is a top heavy region. I think Jason Garrett region. We see, we see chalk advance to the elite eight. And then from there, you never know. You never know, Ryan. You know what you do know? You don't want to be the smelly guy. You just don't want to smell bad. <laughs> no one's going to tell you. Your friends are just going to let you be the smelly guy. Every once in a while, someone will actually pull you aside and be like, dude, what's going on? You got to head over to Hawthorne.co to get you hooked up. It's pretty sweet. You just take a little quiz. Hey, what do you like to do? I like to uh, drink whiskey. Are you a coffee guy? Yeah, I'm a coffee guy. You you just fill out kind of what you do for a living, different situations you're involved in customize. I love, I love custom stuff. You get custom deodorant, custom shampoo, custom cologne, whatever you're doing to smell good. They're going to hook you up. I'd even taken a break Ryan, from deodorant, a sabbatical. Don't recommend it. Don't recommend it. I would even occasionally catch myself. I'd be in a sweaty situation. Be like, Oh God, what is that? If you've all ever smelled your own BO, you know, deodorant, it's essential. And Sean, why are you explaining deodorant is essential? Because I know our audience, right? You're a fellow degenerate. You're spending six hours in a sports book. You're hanging out with other guys, betting on horses. You're sitting there chewing on one of those little pencils. If you're laying around the couch all day. You're just going to smell bad. Clean up, clean up your act. Again, great thing about Hawthorne.co. That's Hawthorne with an E. 
you deliver it to your house. Do you really want to be the guy that goes to Walgreens? Yeah, we know my history with Walgreens. Don't want to go back there. I want to have people mail me my deodorant, mail me my shampoo, conditioner, all my products, and set it up on the schedule. You're a dude, you can figure it out. I'll use a bottle of shampoo every three months. Get that set up so you don't have to leave the house and you can still smell good. Hawthorne.co. Use our code SGP. Get 10% off your purchase. Again, savings. Again, not wasting time. You could be watching games. If you're watching March Madness, you're really going to go, oh, hey, you got to run out to the store and get a bottle of shampoo. No. But after you're done watching games for eight hours, you may want to text a lady, make a pass at your wife, whatever the situation is. Hawthorne.co. Hawthorne.co. Promo code SGP. Get 10% off your purchase. My wife uh, has been complimenting me. It's been saying I'm smelling good. <laughs> nice work, Sean. Thank you. Let's do it. Let's head over to the West region, AKA the Joe Buck region. Mm. Joe Buck. So maybe uh, you can kind of figure it out if you're a smart guy <laughs> or gal. We have some, we have some female listeners. All we have more than a few, Sean. As the uh, lately, as the czar of the contest grading, ooh, I'm thoroughly we- surprised every time that we have no less than three or four females entering a contest with around a hundred people. So we're talking about three to four, per- much higher than the half percent I thought we were at. So <laughs> congratulations to the females out there. I hope they get involved in this conversation as well, Sean. Get I, engaged. I be, what is the, uh, the, the is it the Y chromosome that makes us different? What, what what do you think? Does that impact the voting? Will there be a female <laughs> skew to any of these? Unlikely. Let's do it. Let's do it, Ryan. Let's talk about the West region. Kicking things off. Surprised to get in there, but it won its conference. Got in. <laughs> Speaks to the heart of the show, making fun of people who care about data analytics. Uh, work for the Ringer. Uh, it's it's Homer Simpson. Again, Simpson's great, greatest show of all time. I, I I think it's got it's got an uphill battle. Again, it's fun, but can it really make noise? I think it's going to have a tough matchup going up against a one seed. Let me channel my inner Colby here. Sean, this is the strongest 16 <laughs> seed in the history. I, I don't think this is UMBC. I could be wrong, but I, I don't, don't think see they this. were the strongest 16 seed. I think they just got the job done. But this is like when you hear people say, Oh, can't believe they, uh, th- I had, I had them as a 15 seed and they're a 16 <laughs> seed. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, look, they're, they're, it's a great drop. You have used it many times in slaughtering Robert Mays and you're putting one, him in ex- the locker. Extremely one way, one way relationship you have with him. Uh, but other than that, it's versatile. It's been around forever, but it's also, it's too bland, right? It's, it's the problem with uh, Xerox Kleenex. They, they've, they've, they've done their job so well that people forget that there's something different underappreciated 15. Oh. Ryan, little uh, little break here. Little uh, you know, just a little quick sidebar. Using a sound job from the uh, East Region to talk about Vincero watches. I, of course, if you're watching the video, I'm rocking my sweet ass Vincero watch as we speak. Again, it's a classic timepiece, very affordable. All you got to do is go to VinceroWatches.com. They're already a- affordable. And then Vincero, they throw on 15% off the entire order and they cover shipping costs. It's pretty awesome. We're partnering uh, with Vincero Watches. Couldn't be more jacked. You're looking for a watch that's stylish, bold, and built to last. Can cost a pretty penny, but Vincero Watches, they're changing that. They believe you deserve to look good no matter what your budget. And you know what they say you look good. You pay, you play good. If you play good, they pay good. We're trying to get you guys paid with this bites a bracket challenge. But again, just look sharp. VinceroWatches.com, perfect uh, if you're going out to get a nice little watch. N- nice. Everyone's got their high tech watches and whatever. It's it's nice to have something simple, a little throwback. Again, use that promo code SGP VinceroWatches.com.
Sean, can I uh, throw a little extra love at the sure. sponsor? This is I'm going off script. The lady likes the Vincero watch so much. She's wondering when she gets one. Ooh, all right. We'll have to uh, we'll have to talk to our pals over at Vincero Watches. I'm sure they can uh, hook that up. And I get I get compliments from my wife saying I like that watch. You mm-hmm. look you look good in a watch. I've become a watch hey, guy. So we're much going you- somewhere nice, uh, Sean. I was just uh, we went to the Cirque de Soleil. Yes. Uh, Dodger Stadium, pretty pretty rad, pretty awesome way to spend an evening. Uh, let the the kids get their mind blown, and you have your mind blown <laughs> at the same time. If you know what I mean. Right. Well, any any family activity where Ryan can have an edible is he's a huge fan of. It's completely appropriate. Well, uh, you know, I it was a cla- I thought it might be a little classier, so uh, turned out it wasn't. But had a classy watch on, Sean. So well, and if you're like me, if you're hanging out with the wife on date night. If you pull out your phone, <laughs> wow, Sean, stepping out, the, you hang out with your wife on date night, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's kind of what you do when you're married. Uh, you pull oh, out shit. your phone. You pull out your phone to check the time. Mm. You get yelled at. It's like, oh, you're on your phone. You're not even here hanging out now. You get a sweet Vincero watch. Just do a little quick. And I've gotten so used to these nice Vincero watches <laughs> that. Uh, I feel naked without having a watch now. I've I've become wow. a watch guy. You're a thanks watch to Vincero. guy. Vincero. Vincero it, watches. Promo it's code also. I'm oh, sorry, Sean. Promo code SGP. It is also cool to wear a watch because it shows everyone that you're not a like twenty something millennial fuck. Yep. Exactly. That's the biggest thing. Hey, as an old school guy, you don't need to tell me. Coming in at number fifteen. And either right hand or left handed. Get down in there. Shirk <laughs> off the defender. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be, I, I might be worried of the two seed because the more I listen to this drop, the more I just enjoy the fact fun. that Hubie Brown is talking about jerking off the defender. I, that's like, what is he trying to say? That's very unclear, but I, I think <laughs> trying to say, I think the issue is the issue is with these, uh, with some of these, it, it's too long. And so like mm. when the, when the drops are long, it's tough for me to use them because Yep. It kind of disrupts the flow of the conversation. Very funny and basketball related. So I think those are the things that it has going for it. But I would be surprised if it if it takes out a two. Season. Since this will be the last we hear of it, can we just play it one more time? Either right hand or left handed. Get down in there. Shirk off the defender. And, and we have a breakdown. Like, what is he trying to say? <laughs> I think he's talking about a guy like doing a, you know, ankle breaker. Where he's like jerking, jerk him off. Yeah, <laughs> jerking him off the yeah. chain. That's, you know, that's down, just a guess. Down at the neighborhood court where we all used to jerk each other off. The X Files theme is the next one. I think it takes a lot for a music theme to uh, make it into the bracket, but I think the X Files theme has earned it. It's good whenever we're talking refs, Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, you tipping the taco guys, 56%. There's, there's an easy way to build a conspiracy about a lot yep. of the things we talk about on the podcast. And the X-Files theme is just great. Cause it's, it's just immediately, if there's any sort of shadiness shenanigans going, I'm quick on the trigger for the X-Files theme. So versatile theme, but again, not technically a drop. It's more a music sting. So how say you Ryan? Where do you see it moving on? Honestly, I think one of the things that the, talk about a team that was hurt by a, uh, a player getting kicked off for violating team rules. I think if Dick Olson is still around in the sports gambling podcast universe, this has more value. It, it was it was really a Dick Olson drop. It was played a lot when he was spewing his crazy yeah. bullshit. <laughs> Uh, talking about gold or, or whatever shenanigans. You're right. And of course, what comes with Dick Olson questioning all reality is, is a, a hilarious story. So I think this has some sentimental value, but as you stated, uh, you notice the theme here, a lot of the musical, the longer form sound drops, it's just harder to make a splash. And while I think they absolutely deserve to be here and they have their moment, they get their yep. 30 se- seconds on camera. They every, got to, yeah, they dressed up their auditorium as the nice X-Files as they could do that. Theme, they celebrated. They, they, they're just happy to be there. Uh, it could be blowout potential coming up next newcomer to the, I mean, we're talking 
I'm looking at my watch <laughs> right now, my Vincero watch with the date. Wow. Or uh, two weeks, two weeks, it's like baby. Fif- 15 days. But the reaction has been strong. One guy doesn't like it, but for the most part, very strong. And that is Shakira. Uh, dad, and we haven't even, this is a, this is a drop that hasn't even found its potential to me. This is a mid major with a lot of juniors that like, oh my God, no. they gotten into the tournament. But I think even next year, after a full year of hearing the, the Shakira drop, knowing where it fits bets, getting its use, then I, I think it'll even be, I, it'll be like a six seed five seed next year. I think, I think this could be Jimmy Valvano and NC State with a prayer to win the ACC tournament just to get in the field. This is an open public forum, Sean. Mm. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. Th- to me, you want to circle a lower seed that has a legit shot to go Final Four. This oh. is it. And it, this, it's, they don't know they're supposed to lose. They're so young. They don't know <laughs> that they're supposed and, to be feeling the pressure. And again, that's why it's the 13 because of the newness, the lack of the pedigree, uh, which again, we, as the committee play it one more time, Sean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just uh funny in and of itself. I, I mean, I, I told you, I already pitched what we're going to be using this for next football season. Somehow this has to be the official drop of Freddie kitchens. <laughs> like, <laughs> He's losing his mind. It's just the sound in his brain. That's all that happens. Ryan, uh, Mike North checking in on the live YouTube oh. broadcast saying he's going all in on Trump. Also, Jeff Gordon is a sexy man. Okay. A little that all seems, over the place. Seems unrelated to the uh, fights bracket. But uh, again, I, uh, that all in on Trump, that is, that is one that's really Look out! The, of, uh, the irony of all ironies. <laughs> well, Decker's sound drop wins it. Uh, he might be bummed. And and Sean, real quick, I don't, I don't know if we've spoken about this ever on air before, but many moons ago, went to a race at the Pocono uh, Raceway or Speedway NASCAR race, and that is when I learned that rooting for Jeff Gordon in the NASCAR circles. If someone called you a Jeff Gordon fan, it meant you were gay. Mm. Not that there was anything wrong with that. No, but, but NASCAR fans were using it in a negative way. So light. I'm I'm thinking if if he's saying Jeff Gordon <laughs> is a sexy man, maybe this is uh some sort of knock on the two of us, Sean. I don't know. Uh I think you're probably looking into <laughs> it uh too deep. He's probably just a huge Jeff Gordon fan. Number twelve. Number twelve. The lock dog tease sound drop uh, and the bread and butter of the podcast. You hear it at the end of every NFL podcast at uh, the tease part of course is uh, Kramer singing the happy birthday song like Marilyn Monroe did to JFK. Uh, we didn't even realize that a uh, editor of the podcast uh, sports gambling podcast.com host of the NBA odds pod, Ryan McKee. He didn't even know the backstory to the third part of that drop. Maybe we, the committee, a little sentimental about this 12 seed. Maybe it even, maybe it should be lower. Uh, it's not comedic. Well, actually, you know, the tease thing I think does add some comedy to it. Utilitarian. It's always there. It's it feels like home. I, I think it'll have some. I think it'll have some momentum. But already looking ahead at the five seed, I'm. I won't. I don't want to tip the hand. But it's got an uphill battle. I'll leave it at that. It really has. It's become the utility, Sean, and mm. for the same reasons I think we've seen some other of the these lower seats. It's just it, there's nothing spectacular about it because you hear it every episode. There's nothing spectacular about my beautiful singing voice mimicking the great Marilyn Monroe because you've heard it so much. Let's think mm. about that. Yeah, when you first heard that, I'm I I fucked your shit up. That was funny. <laughs> Let, I mean, let's pat me on the back for a second. You deserve I mean, it, Ryan. Uh, but so but, boy. But the fact that it's been around for so long, like you're just you're used to DMX. Who else? What other podcast you chime into and you get to hear a little bit of DMX? Mm. You get to little he- hear a little bit of Akon, and you get to hear a little bit of a, of your boy Ryan Real Money Kramer <laughs> all in one drop. 
This is an absolute upset special 12 seed, Sean. Well, watch out. Well, and we the committee may have some explaining to do as we get to the top <laughs> part of this bracket. I why know. we rank certain things <laughs> higher uh, than we did others, but we'll get to that. No, we we don't have to answer to anything, Sean. No, that's we great are part the committee. Of it. That is the 11 seed I, personal favorite. Uh, I've explained it the last time we're talking about it, but it's just simply a, uh, a, a, a man performing a magic trick in front of like an Asian teen in a mall. And he makes this wand grow and it, and the kid just goes, Oh my God. His reaction is so over the top. Oh my God. Again, it's perfect for having your mind blown. Maybe it's, maybe it's uh, one of our buddies in Vegas taking an edible and we don't see him again. <laughs> or maybe it's putting hitting a fourteen parlay. It's celebration, mind blowing, uh, very very useful and uh, personally just funny. I, I love it. So eleven seed sounds about right. I think uh, we'll see, but uh, it could be. I could move on for sure. And just to be clear. They're Asian teen watching an actual wand. Yes. Extend. There's no metaphor. There's no, no. There's nothing in here. All very literal. It's an absolute solid drop. I think the seating is dead on. And feels, I think eleven feels right. I think you're looking at a situation where they're going to be a short dog. Mm. They have an opportunity based on public money to potentially be a favorite. But I think there there's a there's a blue blood looking across uh, the 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 aisle at the sixth spot, which we'll get to shortly. And, and this next drop, this this has been getting a ton of support from the fans. Again, personal favorite, stumbled into it uh, out of nowhere. Again, very recent. This is past two months. Doesn't have the history, but we couldn't in good conscience. Put this lower than a 10 seed because it wouldn't be fair to the top half of the seeds. And that is hashtag Dejans only. <laughs> Sean, a a transfer due to a, a medical reason. The grandma got sick. He wanted to come home, go to the small city school, academically ineligible, somehow miraculously gets ruled eligible. Weeks before the conference tournament, they go on the run. They get in as the ten seed. Here's the problem with the format of this tourney. This one could go all the way. It could, but and where? But where do we see this? You can't. You can't put it in the top eight because it's. It's not even. No. It's under two months old. We, we did our job. Yeah. They didn't have the resume. They what? They got hot. They won their conference. This is the appropriate place to put them. But again, the w- East region, we talked a lot about being top heavy, the West region. It's anyone's game in my opinion. And we've already talked about two to three drops in the bottom six that can go on legitimate runs. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, the West, the West region has upsets written all over it. This one again, the nine seed. Oh man, this nine eight seed. I'm ex- this nine eight matchup. I'm very excited to talk about no, the number nine seed. By popular request, had kind of fallen off the board. Glad to see it back. I want a dick rubbed on me tonight. <laughs> there, there's so of something- is a uh, Ryan Real Money Kramer from one of our live March Madness broadcasts in Las Vegas. Of course, we'll be out uh, in Las Vegas again doing some uh, broadcasts and just getting super hammered. Ryan was of course describing uh, Asian women at the club or what was it? It, I think I was just referring to women in general, but it was, it was the particular, uh, what's the club at the Palazzo that has that has a lot of like hot Asian girls dressed up. And the point was, uh, you know, you were doing an impression of a girl going to a club in Las Vegas. Yeah. I want a dick rubbed on me. I'm just updating the (laughs) drop right now. I want a dick rubbed on me tonight. Uh, I want a dick (laughs) rubbed on me tonight. Something about the poor audio quality, much like Mm. poor video quality before, like in a porn context works. The bad audio quality to me raises the game of this drop. We have not used it in a while, but I'm starting to wonder why this is the Joe Buck region and not the Ryan Real Money Kramer region. Oh wow! Because we've this is now the second drop that it was at least co-authored by Real Money Kramer. Mm, That's true. 
it, it's a it's a typical nine seed. So I think a lot of a lot of a potential to advance one round, but not much potential to go much further than that. Yeah, I, again, it kind of fell out because it's it's kind of long for a whole sentence, <laughs> it, it, but it, it's fun and uh, and it's it was a gift when we got it, and it's it's great that the listeners kind of reminded me because I had, I'd kind of forgotten about it. There's only so many things I could fit on this board. Sean, this- shout out to Will Mormon again over at youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast, pointing out that you can't put that in reasonable context. <laughs> so yeah, that while that is true, I was putting it in very reasonable conference. Thank you, sir. <laughs> this one again, friend of the program, hope to have him back on. Uh, we have to get some mo- more money for him. I, I got to tell the, uh, the story of Lenny Dykstra trying to get it. His uh, his money from me for his appearance fee. Uh, you'll have to just watch. It. I mean, it's like a whole thing. But shout out to Lenny Dykes, your friend of the program. Uh, not gonna say good dude, but certainly entertaining guest. Yeah, great guest. And this is actually uh, this sound drop is from the Stern Show, and so it's a shout out to the Stern Show. Shout out to uh, awesome guest Lenny Dykstra, and that is the slot. How's the slot? And to me, what makes this unique. Is because we use it when talking. It's perfect yeah. for the DFS show. When talking about <laughs> anyone that mentions the slot uh, receiver, it's just a fun little inside joke. It reminds you of Lenny and his him being a complete maniac. So I think the fact that we can use that the slot, him talking about obviously slots in a sports context, I think this drop has tremendous value and. I'm glad I don't have to pick a winner here. I guess I will be submitting a bracket. I'm going to be pulling my hair out going back and forth here because I think people love hearing you talking about wanting to have a dick rubbed on you, but they also love hearing Lenny Dykstra talk about slots. So I, I, this feels like a true toss up to me and kudos to the committee for this eight, nine matchup. It's a really good, it's a strong matchup. I, I do think that Lenny Dykstra has an edge. But that's it's more versatile. Really? Well, you're right. Because I guess it's, it's shorter. easier. It's easier to naturally drop in the podcast. But they're both, I think, a little too long to have be that versatile. And that's why as an eight-nine matchup, no matter what happens round one, I think they're gonna meet their fate round two. I would lean slightly to Lenny, but I'm we're talking about a one point game. We're talking about one point favorite here. So Number seven. Number seven, Ryan. And that is. Sam Bradford is not a fucking franchise quarterback. You want to talk about audio quality? That is, we had to dust that off. That's as good as we can get it because that was, I mean, we're talking, was that 2014? That is a 2015. It's pre. I, I can actually probably look up what year it is real quick, but that is old school. Yeah. Me shitting on Sam Bradford again. This is kind of a, uh, this may be its last year in the tournament because we're Sam Bradford, unless he makes a run at the XFL, we're kind of not going to hear from Sam Bradford again. Um, so yeah, I, I think this, this may have been like the 2013, 2000. I think this was the 2013 uh, NFC West preview, maybe 2014. It was right before the Eagles ended up trading for him and I hated Sam Bradford. So the, the one year in Philly, 2015 got a ton of use out of that drop. Insane that that the that he was traded again to the Vikings. Oh my god, that was so awesome! <laughs> and again, to the and then ended up the Cardinals paid him twenty million dollars. <laughs> That's so insane! So insane. How do you think uh, Sam Bradford does against its matchup? Ooh, Dejans only. Mm. Dejans only is new. It's hot. It's fun. But there is there is some old school heads. There is some Sam Bradford backers. But I think even as the seven seed, now that is kind of a nod to its pedigree, its heritage, its age. The committee kind of gave them a little bit of a nod there, a little bit of help. But I think even as a seven seed, this is a seven seed that's a dog in my mind. I I agree. I think Dejan's only is a surprising like three to four point favorite. I. And I think they could walk away with it. I, I I think there's more versions of the game where Dejan's only wins w- versus Sam Bradford. And I think to your point, 
maybe it's the it's the fact that Sam Bradford no longer in the in the NFL. So it, it's not not quite something we're going to be using as much. Now, will we will we uh, appoint someone as an honorary Sam Bradford? Of course mm. we will. So this drop will live on, but I just don't think it'll have the meaning. I think this is the one last hurrah, but they are playing an upstart team with some serious talent. So I I, I expect this to be a uh, an upset. I know we, uh, the fans like the upsets. I I think this this will be a, a, a fairly fairly quick fairly it's not painful. an easy matchup for the seven seed. This one at uh, this again, just judging from the fans asking for it, it has legs. San Diego. <laughs> Superchargers charge. I think I think this is decently favored against. Oh my God! Uh, of course, the Chargers no longer a team in the NFL. I mean, I guess technically they're the Los Angeles Chargers, but the San Diego Superchargers no longer there. Sean the image. Rivers, R.I.P. Tough time for Decker. Will we see a Decker back sound drop in the finals? Both have uphill battles, but both certainly have their supporters. I would not be surprised if all in on Trump, in spite of the amount of blue bloods and big name talent in the East region gets in there and gets, uh, and just makes something happen. Well, it's Decker. So much obviously like, much nothing like, much like Trump himself. No one sees a Trump victory coming and uh, he could come out of the woodwork and really make noise in the East region. I, I, uh, unfortunately much like Decker's real life. I just think it's going to be a little bit of a uh, close, but no cigar uh, while I like, Oh my God, as a potential long shot can go deep in this tournament, man live. Although it's long, we know it's a long drop and, and, and maybe the fact that it happened, it was authored on the show. It was a yeah. live acoustic and it wasn't like version. We of- didn't tell him to sing it the first time. We've since tell him to sing it live after that, but that first one where he just like out of nowhere is like San Diego supercharge charge like he just did it unprompted I think and it's been great it's it's one of my favorite drops all time six seed just seems right for it decent matchup against the eleven seed but I think I think it I think he cruises just from the consensus I've gotten so far. I think it's got to advance. And Sean, I, I especially enjoyed picking an image for this one uh, as it was the San Diego stadium with San Diego chargers, <laughs> 1961 through night, 2000, whatever. RIP San Diego super chargers. Thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast. No, it's not the end of the podcast. It's the number five seed shout out to our buddy who uh, went and interviewed a bunch of drunk Eagles fans at the uh the draft in Philadelphia to before the 2017 season uh also seemed pretty intoxicated himself <laughs> guy he uh those interviews are great we got to get him to do more uh it was great dude and it's just such a fun drop to throw at the end of the program but also as pointed out by the listeners it's fun to drop in there sarcastically if someone's just like mm-hmm. you know tuning out or or is it I don't know, like throw some bomb out there or a horrible pick. Thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast. Colby's not paying attention. Exactly. That's always, it's always fun to pencil in there. Five seed feels right. And this is a feisty five seed. It's got a, um, a decent matchup against the 12 seed, the lock dog T sound effect as much as that is a, uh, a cornerstone of the program. I have, thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast moving on and it it kind of looks like we we actually thought these things out. I think there's a lot of fun happy accidents <laughs> in these seedings because the five seed, thank you for participating, goes up against the twelve lock dog tees. Both kind of like uh, very things. clever move by the committee here, putting two very like minded drops together. Head Obviously, to they don't. Well, I think what they see here is they see a need for one of these drops to move on, but they they see a problem with getting the TV ratings. They see a problem with an audience draw further on in the tournament. So they didn't want to risk both of them advancing. They lined them up. I think it's a proper 512. The 5 is favored here. I think the five is favored by that four point range. And I would be surprised if th- th- it doesn't get 60% of the vote. That being said, it's still the lock dog tease. 
Don't count out the lock dog teeth. Which, by the way, Sean, you should head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash merch mm. and get your brand new shiny lock dog tees t shirt. Look, you're gonna come to Vegas. You're gonna wanna impress me and Sean. Yeah. The best way to impress get an autogra- come me there, and Sean, autograph drinks. Well, mainly be wearing something that we created. That's definitely gonna excite Sean. I will respect you for it. But yeah, you should do it. <laughs> get a get a lock dog t shirt. They're they're very nice. All the all the stuff is printed on Under Armour stuff. And if you if you click on the item, you can rotate in between the different logos that we have. So a bunch of cool hoodies, t shirts, hats, beanies, perfect beanie weather, all that stuff is uh going on. Okay, Kramer coming in at number four. You're right. We should have named this bracket after you. What the fuck were we thinking? Not naming <laughs> this bracket after you instead. It's the Joe buck region. Uh, I, this one I'm, I'm blanking on the exact origin of this drop, but of course it's you saying, Ooh, what the fuck? Very, very fun. You pointed out on the slack that someone's even made a, uh, taking one of those staples. That's easy button and loaded this uh, drop on there. We really got to start that. I mean, that's something we could, we could move some serious weight. Look, I really would like to thank the committee. I would like to thank the fans three appearances <laughs> in, in the West region. I, in I, the I, West. I am just, I couldn't be happier. This is a incredible matchup. And I think the committee was a little unfair to what the fuck putting Shakira up against them on the other side. This to me is Georgetown facing a Dayton team. This is a blue blood with tons of flaws who can't shoot from the outside taking on Steph Curry and the Davidson. You're in trouble, Kramer. You're in trouble. It does seem like you'll have, could you get, would you get swept? Uh, and that could be very embarrassing. We <laughs> well, should have a prop side bet. Here's prop a prop bet. bet. Will Kramer Centric get swept in the U.S. region because I want to dick rope Dombey tonight. Tough matchup against Lenny Dykes to the slot. Then you have the lock dog tease where you're you're sing the tease part. That's number twelve. That's going up against five. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast again. Tough. Then a whoa, whoa, what the fuck going up against the Shakira sound effect. Your favorite, but will you? A sweep of Ryan is not out of the question. Maybe the listeners will rally around the comedy of you being swept out of the bite bracket challenge. Well, the Kramer FML tour is strong, so we never who knew this was going to be a stop. <laughs> this could be the cherry on top coming in at number three. <coughs> just simply the DMX sound drop. And now I know what you're saying. Why is Lock Dog T's a twelve, but the DMX dog bark a three? Cause the DMX dog bark to me lives in its own space lives. It, it carries what we're all about here on the podcast, betting on big dogs, cashing, big dogs, throwing those long shots out there. The big dog runs faster. The hungry dog runs faster. It's, it's also just DMX. Remember yeah. DMX? He's fucking awesome. <laughs> it's a really fun sound drop. Um, I was going to say mostly it's, it's DMX. Like I think you know, we at the sports gambling podcast like to stay on the bleeding edge of some things. And one of those things is being one of the few places to still rep DMX. Yep. Uh, DMX has been through some tough times, not here at the sports gambling podcast. Oh, he's been a supporter. While I will agree with anyone who wants to argue that this is just too high. And if you're looking at region parody, you're, you're maybe complaining that Gus Gasm is just a better team <laughs> than DMX dog bark. But now DMX dog bark, they have a nice path. They're going up against X files theme. They shouldn't have trouble with that or will they? Well, Sean, the reason I want to call out DMX dog bark, not only has it been around forever, not only uh, does it allow us to rep DMX and not only do we just love dogs on the sports gambling podcast Huge dog fan. There was a review calling out this specific sound drop as being annoying. Wow. The you're host right. just kept playing a dog barking <laughs> sound effect to me. 
<laughs> that is what elevated the game and the seating of this this one. And just like you're doing now, it's so easy to play repeatedly. There's not many drops on this list that you can straight up just bang out like an Uzi in it. Sorry about that. <laughs> There, there's not many drops that we've called out that you slam on in a in a double and sometimes a triple combo. That to me also raises the value of this DMX drop. And 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 Sean, what people have to remember is there used to be a dog bark sound drop that we use, and we very quickly said no. We need to spice that, this I, up. I we need to that. make this meaner. In walks DMX. The meaner, tougher version of the dog coming down to the final two in the West region. But before we do that, shout out to our boys over at aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's right. You hear that? The tropical music. You could be going, you could be taking your own island trip. You could be heading to the Caribbean. Thanks to all that cold, hard cash. You've got from starting your own sports book. That's right. Aceperhead.com slash SGP. They make it easy to start your own sports book. Plus, if you use that link, you can get up to six weeks free over at Ace. Aceperhead.com slash SGP. Again, they offer live betting, an amazing mobile experience. I know what you're saying. I don't know how to set up a sports book website. Are you, are you kidding me? They got you covered. All you do, head over to Ace. Provide you with an all inclusive professional betting site. All the lines updated, the wagers graded immediately, top notch customer support 24 7, some of the sharpest lines in the industry. And that's what you want when you're the bookie. Again, stop trying to just beat the bookie, become a bookie. All you got to do is head over to aceperhead.com slash SGP, and soon you'll be hitting those uh, steel drums while you retire to the Bahamas with all that sweet, sweet cash. Closing things out strong. The DMX dog bark. That means there's only two sound bites left to be revealed. One of which is long cocks. Brilliant. It's brilliant. It reminds me of the Eagles, Chris Long, Fletcher Cox. Of course, they were standing next to each other on Monday Night Football back when John Gruden was just announcing Monday Night Football before he was coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. Gruden, he's in the East and West region. Decker, he's in the East and West region. Long Cox has a a nice matchup against Hubie Brown, talking about jerking off the defender. I think Long Cox will cruise. Again, it's short, it's sweet, it's concise, it's related to the Eagles. It's John Gruden. It's uh, talking about long dicks. It's it's just uh, big dick Nick. The Eagles run. There's so many things you can tie this drop to. Love it, Sean. I I also love it. I'm a little again. Uh, my biggest complaint to the committee, which you're probably wondering, hey man, you were on the committee. Yeah, mm. that doesn't matter. We want we. It's all about the controversy, and I have some problems with the parody at the top. And while I wow. think Long Cox is great, yes, Long Cox is not baby effing whale. Mm. So while I think. Long Cox. So, uh, so again, you, Sean, the committee did some clever <laughs> things here. Cox taking on, jerking off. Yep. This is great. Long Cox, no question, will be in advancing to the second round to the Sweet 16. Gonna but, blow through that 15 seed. But guess who they have to face in mm. that Sweet 16? Potentially Dejins only. Wow. And this could be. Hashtag Dejins only. A buzzsaw. This could be the buzzsaw. And it's if pretty I'm, awesome. If I'm calling for a top two seed to get upset early, that I'm I'm circling that matchup and I'm telling you, Sean, beware of the Dejins only. Dejins only. Uh their fans are vocal. I see them <laughs> popping up in the mentions. I think they the fans will really carry this Dejins only. And, and it could be, it could be a uh, pretty crazy here. The number one soundbite in the Joe Buck region is, of course, that is a disgusting act. <laughs> of course, uh, and and it was so great putting this together because we Google imaged uh, Randy <laughs> Moss like with his fake pretend pulling down his pants and Joe Buck just losing it. Uh, that is a disgusting act. It's fun to make fun of Joe Buck. Uh, it's such a silly moment. The idea that someone fake moons someone—I'd never heard of that 
as I didn't realize that was an option. It's an all time hilarious move. So I mean, it just shows you the times like Randy Moss was like vilified for this horrible act. And he literally fake mooned his rivals <laughs> crowd. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this guy should on, be man. carried off the field. Joe Bl Buck is a disgrace. He continues to be a disgrace. And while again, I, I don't have a problem with this being a one seed. I think it has to be a one seed. I think it's just used. It's been been around forever. We use it for everything. It's got to be a one seed. But I, I I just think again, it's a one seed that is gonna have a situation where it could be going against. Thank you for participating in the sports gambling. Pod. It could be going against Shakira. <laughs> we don't know, well, Sean. And, and I know you were being critical earlier of some of the top-heavy nature of the East, but I think when putting together this tournament, that's what you want in the tournament. You want some kind of chalkier stuff in one region, but then it's always fun to have that wild region where, th I mean, there are so Th many this promising. Is the there's so many promising upsets in the West. Uh, I mean, well, right now the East, if you just looked at it, probably like a five point favorite into the finals, but, but look out, look out baby. Well, to be clear though, disgusting act is the number one overall seed, right? I think so. We use I mean, it in all seasons. Again, we, baby F and whale is the number one overall seed for me personally, oh. but it's only number two in the East. So, well, so probably the three overall then. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm very excited to see what the fans are mad at us about. I'm there will be some hot to, opinions. Red. Will Will a member of the writing staff at the Sports Gambling Podcast dot com hot, 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 hot. be writing some form of breakdown? Yes, that, that's going to we'll happen. Make sure that happens. And again, head over to Sports Gambling Podcast dot com slash bracket. Get your bracket in. We're going to give you until Sunday at midnight, February twenty third. It cuts off, and then we will start the games, aka. Uh, people voting on Twitter at gambling podcast. So again, head over to sports gambling podcast.com slash bracket, get your bracket in spread the word at your chance to win $500 for simply watching other people vote on which sound drops are more popular. It doesn't get any more better than that run hashtag digits only in true digit fashion guys as always Oh my sound. They're all like mixed up here. Thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Really appreciate you tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, fun little uh, gimmick and tournament we got going. Spread the word, make it happen, make it big, make it fun. And for the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, stacking the money green, and he is Ryan. Good luck to me in the West region. Kramer, let it ride. The guy made fun of me for drinking a white cloth. <laughs> <laughs>